In today's Test Lucky video, we're going to talk about mom's first speeding ticket and Lucky. And the number one way it could have been prevented. Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. And sometimes that adventure includes flashing lights uh, in the uh, rear view uh, mirror, right Carly? Yeah. But today's video is all about my speeding ticket in Lucky. And I just want to say right off the bat, the number one way to prevent getting speeding tickets- Is staying off your phone. Is to drive the speed limit. Oh. Well, yeah, staying off your phone. I wasn't on my phone technically when I got the speeding ticket. I wasn't holding my phone. I was engaged in a phone conversation on Bluetooth. Well, we're gonna cover all of those uh, details, but I just don't want a whole bunch of comments saying the number one way to avoid speeding tickets is to drive the speed limit. That is the given. The number two way to prevent uh, speeding tickets is autopilot. More about that later, okay? So, Carly, do you want me to tell the story or are you going to no, tell the story? I'm going to tell All the right, story. Kick off this video and tell everybody the story of November 17th, oh. 2023. Just tell it from your memory. Okay. I'll fill in, fill in from the notes, no, Carly. No, I know everything. You know everything. I okay. Do. So, we're, well, she's driving. She's on the phone with my grandma. She's going very fast. And then, beedo, beedo, whatever the. <laughs> So she gets pulled over and she's honest with the guy. She's like, I was on the phone with my grandma, I wasn't paying attention, blah, blah, blah. And always be honest with police officers, Carly. Always oh, okay, be honest. I know, I know. Okay. And then she got a ticket, but it wasn't actually a speed ticket, it was a distracted driving ticket. Now, I love my mother very much, but sometimes she goes on her phone. So I think the moral of the lesson for this, stay off your phone. Okay, well, I wasn't on my phone. I do uh, think that the police officer ended up writing it as a speeding ticket and no. a distracted oh, driving. I, I remember just seeing distracted. Well, the, the speed was mentioned on the ticket. So I was going 67 in a 45 mile an hour Ooh. zone in Key Largo Ooh. on the overseas highway. <laughs> That's the thing with Teslas. I didn't realize I was going that fast. You just can't tell how fast you're going unless you're paying attention or unless you have autopilot set to- Or cruise control. Well, cruise control is essentially is very similar to autopilot. But isn't it if you we have, have cruise- We have speed aware cruise control and we have I think autopilot. Has cruise control. I just found that Cruise out. control is a good way, autopilot or cruise control, to set your speed to a speed limit where you think you're not going to get a ticket. Like, for example, five miles over the speed limit. Most people, I think, would agree that five miles over the speed limit, you're not going to get a ticket. Right, Carly? Yeah. Uh, now, what do you think actually is the highest speed over the posted speed limit that it's safe to set your autopilot or your speed aware cruise control? Because if you can set it to five, what about seven? What about nine? What about 11? I'd like to know what everybody thinks. What do you set your cruise control or autopilot I think it's five because dad gets, he'll yell at me, I'm kidding, anytime I go over five. So I'm gonna fill in a few more details here from the story, including some maps to show you where, when, and how this happened. I had been on autopilot all day, and then I pulled over to buy concert tickets on my phone. Instead of buying concert tickets on my phone in autopilot, for the record, your honor, <laughs> I pulled over and then I resumed driving and I didn't re-engage autopilot. I don't know why. You I almost grandma. always drive in autopilot. I called grandma. I started talking to her about our plans for the summer, Ohio. which we're very excited about. Our Ohio trip. Hi, grandma. And hi, Grandpa. I know they're watching this. And then while I'm talking to her, I get pulled over. So as Carly said, I was honest with the 
police officer. I didn't know how fast I was going. Why was I in such a hurry? I really wasn't in such a hurry. I was just on the phone. And so actually he gave me a flyer <laughs> about the different types of distracted driving because distracted driving isn't always that you have a little phone or a device in your hand. Cognitive distraction is it the- occurs when a driver dis diverts his or her attention to an enter mentally demanding task. Like, like talking to grandma? <laughs> it's like not, mom, it is not visual, mentally demanding to talk to you. Visual distractions is the most common type of distraction. And that can include reading a billboard, Carly. I guess. So we should just get rid of all billboards. Or seeing a hot man on the side of the road. That could be a distraction, you know, like shirtless firemen. Anyways. That would be a distraction. To you? To You're married. A lot of people. You should have... I'm married, <laughs> not blind. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, a physical distraction. Unless there's more. Oh, no, no, physical distraction is the third one. Taking your hands off steering wheels, but you do a lot. But that's an autopilot, so it's fine. Well, it's only fine in autopilot if there's no... If it's not, like, two-way traffic or there's not a lot of traffic around me. Now, what can I you do? I actually want you to know that when I'm driving in autopilot, if I am going to do something that involves taking my hands off the wheel, like when we're on the overseas highway and there's like, I'm always prepared for somebody to swerve out of their lane because they're like taking like selfie video of the seven mile bridge or whatever. So I very, very selectively choose when to remove my hands from the wheel for an autopilot and only for a brief moment. Okay. Okay. Now, what can you do? You can never text or talk on your cell phone. I'm sorry, you won't be able to do that. Make a plan. Know where you're going, which we always do that. We do Manage that with your navigation. Time. You're the best uh, co pilot because you program every single place we're going in uh, the navigation before we leave. Scan and look ahead. That's obvious. Concentrate. Oh, this is really dumb. Pull over if you need to do something. Like buy Melanie Martinez concert tickets yes, for Columbus, yes. Ohio. You pull Slow over. Slow down and buckle up. This is funny for teens. Dang. Teen Safe Driving Coalition. FDOT. Okay, so those... I wasn't really actually planning to read the entire flyer. Well, now the viewers are just lucky know what to do. They know what to do. If you didn't take driver's ed, and you know what to do. I think people might be curious to know how much did this ticket cost. A lot of money. So we're going to cover... Money that could have gone to Starbucks. Funny you should mention that. This is a very funny <laughs> same wavelength mother-daughter moment. <laughs> Stay tuned uh, and you'll see exactly why that is so funny. I have something planned for this video that um, I haven't even I think I know you. what it is. What do you think it is? I think it's like... You say the number and then you c like calculate how many skinny vanilla lattes you could have <laughs> bought in with your ticket money. My daughter knows me very well. <laughs> Stay tuned for the cost of this ticket in terms of skinny vanilla lattes. Is it including extra hot 50 cents? They don't charge you for that. I thought they you for day two. No, that's for the vanilla pumps. It's, they don't charge you to make it extra hot. But God. don't tell Starbucks that because they might get that Stop, idea. Stop, I know. And, Starbucks, uh, I hope not want to. Start charging for the uh, the extra hot. The ticket itself, this this one, costs $265.23. And we're not done because, of course, I went to driving school because I haven't had a ticket in 10 years. And if I have the ability to go to driving school, to prevent getting points on my license to prevent my insurance from going up. So driving school, yes. So I got this postcard in the mail. I got this postcard in the mail from- They knew. Low, of course they know. From lowestpricetrafficschool.com. And I'll look at this Curly. I think this is really funny. It says that the lowest price guaranteed Five dollars and ninety-four cents, and then there's a little asterisk here, which indicates I can't even read what the asterisk says. Can your eyes read that? Plus four state is so. Oh. Plus this, plus that, and plus the other. So here, I want to actually give you a chance to guess how much driving school was by okay. going through the different itemizations. Okay, so this driving school, the course itself. 
with a 10% discount was $5.35. So $5.94 plus a 10% random discount, okay? Then there were state fees. How much do you think the state fees How were, Carly? $50. $29.95, oh. pretty close, okay? okay? Then they charged me convenience fees. How much do you think convenience fees were? Another $20? No, the convenience fees were only $3.95. Oh, that's not Then if I wanted email delivery of my proof of my completion of the online uh, driver school, which by the way, I want to also just say that I haven't had a ticket in 10 years and I actually called on the phone and asked them if they had driving school in Monroe County or if I was going to have to go up to Dade and the woman was like, hello, it's 2024, the school's online and I was like, oh, duh, like of course the driving school <laughs> is online. So how much do you think the email delivery cost, Carly? 20 bucks. $39.95 to send me a blankety blank That's a lot email. of skinny vanilla lattes. Oh, this is really adding up to a lot of skinny vanilla lattes. Then after all those fees, there was actually a space where I could have left a tip. I did not leave a tip after all of this. Who tips a website for charging you all these fees for a five dollar and ninety four cent uh, online driving school. I got you. I got I you. I think car tipping for good service is good karma, but I did not tip this website for mm -hmm. my ticket thing. Okay, so that brings the total cost for this ticket and driving school three hundred and sixty dollars and thirty three cents. Carly, do you know quickly? How many skinny vanilla lattes that is in Key West, Florida? Give me a calculator. I can do Okay. It. What's so, your password? Hold on. This is my other phone, not the phone we're filming with, the work phone. Okay. Because I hold on. I am a part of the uh, the two phone nation, which I hate. Okay. Give me the All right. So first wait. of all, in Key West, Florida, before tip a venti skinny vanilla latte extra hot is seven dollars and 26 cents what was the total i remember when it was like five dollars what was the total amount of total money? amount of money three hundred and sixty dollars and 33 cents 49.6 49.6 skinny vanilla lattes as a lot damn we just round that up to 50 skinny vanilla lattes is a lot for being on the phone distracted yeah all this not could be driving avoided. with autopilot uh not paying attention not talking on the phone about concerts and summer road trips where were we even going that day we were going to the pink concert. oh yeah pink concert that was awesome that was really really awesome <laughs> Don't speed. Hold on. I want to know in the comments how many other Tesla-ky viewers have had speeding tickets and how fast you were going and how much your tickets cost. We are so excited that our channel continues to grow and we hope that you'll watch another tesla -ky video. Let's uh, cue some up in the corners, okay? We'll be back soon, by the way, with the 150,000 mile series of videos showing battery health, maintenance oh, yeah. cost, Did you? and tire. No, I haven't done it yet because we are at 145,451 oh. miles. So we are only about 4,600 miles away from that high mileage Tesla driving stats videos so people are going to want to click the bell for notifications so they don't miss that right yeah okay they do thank you for watching bye this is how i feel about speeding tickets and lucky forgot to do that when carly was in the car